All right, we are back with uh, Keene State head coach Justin Blood. Coach, a tough defeat today, but you have to be proud of the resilience of your team constantly pulling back within a run or two throughout the throughout the game. Yeah, um, we we had a, a, a not a great practice yesterday morning and kind of talked about our our energy and effort and things we've been talking about all year, but making sure that even though this is the the last week of the season that those things don't go away. You know, whether you're a senior getting ready to graduate or an underclassman looking to continue to make strides going into next year. Uh, we wanted to finish on a high note, and you know, obviously Eastern's a good team, and uh, I didn't think that we played afraid. I think, I think we actually put a scare into them, which was nice. So, uh, yeah, it was a good effort. Yeah, talk about the, a little more about the play of Mark Barrett today. You know, reaching uh, two different times, seeing eye single, three stolen bases. He's a can be a real weapon on the base paths. Yeah, Mark, um, you know, he's he's been dinged up a little bit throughout the year um, and uh, and just hasn't gotten into a consistent groove being on the field uh, every day. And But, you know, we told him in the fall, you know, I, and I remember vividly telling him in, at a practice in the fall that there's things that he can do on the baseball field that nobody else on our roster can do. And, you know, when he is in the lineup and – uh, and he's getting himself on base. You saw it today. You know he he can definitely be a huge weapon uh, offensively, and he can get to baseballs that a lot of other guys can't get to. So um, it was good to see him play well. And final question: As we head into the last doubleheader of the season this Friday against UMass Dartmouth, um, you know tough tough to come out there sometimes when you're eliminated from the playoff race. Um, how how will we get the team motivated on Friday? I just I same same thing I just said, you know, I we just finished our huddle by saying, you know, we we have a competitive uh good effort today and you know, even though it's a loss, it it feels good. You know, if you're a uh, a senior or an underclassman, how do you want this year to wrap up? Do you want to walk away from this field, you know, whether it's a win or a loss with your your chest up and your head held high? Um so, you know, we need to carry better energy and better effort and um you know, and I, regardless of the win or the loss, I think if we do those things, we'll we'll feel good about the end of the end of the day on Friday. All right. Well, thank you very much, Coach. Once again, Owls fall in this one, eight to six, to Eastern Connecticut. They'll be at home one final time this Friday with a doubleheader against UMass uh, UMass Dartmouth. That will